So I've been wearing denim jeans for 50 years and only became aware of a denim community in the last couple of years. And also only became aware of salvage denim in the last couple of years. And so, yeah, it seemed interesting. Let me, you know, something to get into. So I, when I first heard about it, I jumped the gun. I bought a, I bought my first raw denim jeans since the 1980s. Uh, back then I used to wear uh, Lee's and Levi's. So to buy them uh, raw, rigid, and throw them in the washing machine as soon as possible. Get get that stone wash look. Back then stone wash was the thing. So didn't want it, you know. So, but anyway, so I got the. This is the first one I bought since then. This was uh, two years ago. I got the Kimes Ranch ring spun raw denim jean. This is actually, it actually, uh, you know, I realized it wasn't salvaged denim shortly after, but it still a very good jean made in USA, made in Arizona. And it's a cowboy cut, blue cut. I did taper it on the bottom a little bit. From, you know. But the fit is great. You know, the crotch the rise and all that very comfortable jean when it's new so i'm gonna throw this in the wash machine uh two years so it's about time to give this thing a wash <laughs> all right then shortly after i bought uh my first real salvage denim jean but in black this is a brave star double raw denim 21.5 ounce and uh Japanese fabric, but made in Los Angeles, California. Let me see that salvage fabric here. Let's see, salvage denim signature. <laughs> so yeah, it was a thick. These took a while to break in, and so, so it's been two years since these. You know, I haven't washed these at all. So I'm hoping to get like kind of like a contrast. I don't really want to fade them out. I want to get like some kind of contrast going, you know. You know, it's a black salvage denim jean. I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to fade too quick. <laughs> so contrast would be nice. So yeah, brave stuff. That's definitely a good brand. I'll definitely go with them again for the fit alone. The fit. Yeah, I know what size they need and everything. And so definitely be brave stuff again. And okay, so then I, I got some indigo salvage denim made in China. This is a red tornado. So I believe it's Japanese fabric, but well, it's sewn, sewn in China, so raw, whatever. These are about 17 ounce. So I'm wearing one now. These are the, these kind of fit like a 505 Levi's, 17 ounce, so. I just started wearing them out. These were these were uh, 34, 32, so I, I lost a few pounds. So these are, I can finally fit into these. <laughs> I'm about uh right now about 5'11", 215 pounds. So these uh these I've been wearing for the past couple of years. So these are a little these are a little bigger in the waist. So I might yeah you know, these might get a good fade. I don't know. I don't know if I wear them enough. I wore them at least 30 times. So I don't really care about the fades too much. Just Regular vintage fades is uh, good enough for me. I realize I don't really need those crazy fades. You know, I'm an older guy, so. <laughs> and uh, what else I got here? I'm gonna throw in the wash machine in a couple of years. This is a, uh, this isn't salvage, but I, I stumbled upon it later on. It seemed appealing. This is the Roundhouse Rigid Raw. Roundhouse has been around over a hundred years. They make jeans here in the USA. Uh, I forgot which state it was, uh, Tennessee or Oklahoma, one of those, or they moved around, I think they moved around somewhere, I think they were in Oklahoma and they moved somewhere else south, down south, Oklahoma's Midwest, so. but anyways, these turned out good, they were, uh, the fit on these is really good, right away, it's not salvaged denim, but it's, somehow I appreciate it, it's like, uh, it was a 14 ounces, 13 ounces, but I have an appreciation for it, and don't regret buying it. And of course, there's like hundreds of other brands out there, salvage denim, but I'm going to stick it out with these. I got them. You know, they come out perfect. My new denim journey didn't come out perfect, but 
these are holding up. They're not, you know, wearing out. They're not, you know, so may as well stick it out with them for now. And maybe later on I'll buy, I'll get in some actual made in Japan, salvage them maybe next year or whatever. No rush for me, but I'm going to throw these in a the wash, see what kind of fading I get. And uh, I don't know, just something to do again. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. This is the Roundhouse Raw Denim Brakeman hat. Old time real load worker hat. All right, so here I am in my laundry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the, the blue denim, one wash, let them wash together, similar blue color. So I'm, I don't think I have to worry about any kind of mismatching color or anything. And I'm gonna put one pod in there. It's like a little uh, pot of detergent. I don't think I need too much detergent. Um, whole idea is to remove uh, any kind of dust, debris from the fabric. So you don't need much detergent to do that. I remember the Korean laundromat years ago in New York City. They used to have a sign up telling people not to use too much detergent and that it doesn't clean the clothes any more than using minimal detergent. So that's what I'm doing here. One little pod, and that's it. So I'll put it in the wash there. It's about a 38-minute wash. And here's the black uh, Brave Star denim. I'm going to put this in with... Uh, I have a heavy twill coach's jacket. I usually match these together. So I figured it's time to get this one a wash. It's been a couple years. Uh, this, this is uh, sweatpants just to fill up the machine so the... They're not whipping around as much. They say it's not good to let the the raw denim whip around the machine. You know, there's more space, so it gets kind of like, uh, you know, loses its fluffiness. All right, same thing, I'm gonna throw uh, one pod in there. Just wanna remove the dust, debris, and uh, whatever else is in the fabric after two years. Clean it up, finally. And there we go. This is the blue denim, taking it out. You know. As you can see, it gets tangled up. And first reaction is, oh my God, everything shrunk down. But it wasn't the case. There was a little shrinking went on. It wasn't that bad. So I can see the black one. It looked like there was some kind of fading, but it, I guess because they're wet, it looks a little different. So I'll show you in a couple minutes how it's how it looks when it's drier and a coach's jacket eh, not much difference really just cleaned up it did shrink a little bit though so it, it'll loosen up as I wear it again it did the first time so here you can see how uh, there's some contrast like glazed contrast not really phased but glazed or uh, waxy look which is uh, exactly what I was going for so this here was a success, this wash. Very uh, happy with this. And it did shrink down a little bit, but I guess that's just, whenever you wash them, it does shrink a little bit, but nothing nothing dramatic. And uh, they will loosen up again. These were still damp when I put them on. I guess I, th I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of like, be before they completely dry out, to kind of like form fit. Get some kind of form fitting. I think uh, that was a good idea. So yeah, I put these on a few minutes. Try to stretch them out while they're damp or wet. And that helped. I did put them in the dryer for uh, 30 minutes on low temperature. They came, they were still wet when I took them out of the dryer. So didn't really help much. But yeah, so it was an overall success. Right here is the red tornado. No crazy fades, just uh, they look a slightly lighter. And they did shrink down. I don't know if, yeah, they did shrink some. I don't know if it's normal shrinking or nothing dramatic, but they do feel tight, so I don't know. Maybe they did shrink a lot. I don't know. <laughs> they were hard to get on. So, I, yeah, they were still wet. I tried to stretch them out before 
letting them completely dry on their own. Yeah, try to get some kind of form, you know, form fit. And Kimes Ranch, same thing, no crazy fade, just a little lighter, slightly lighter. 5% lighter, maybe. Uh, no crazy shrinking either, just tightened up a little bit, that's about it. So, yeah, here's the roundhouse, same thing, slightly lighter. They just, no crazy shrinking, just tightened up, and I'm just putting them on, loosen them up before they completely dry out. Oh, and here's the heavy twill coach's jacket. Very underrated material, in my opinion. So that's it. Nothing dramatic. Uh, real world denim wash, raw denim wash. Nothing too exciting, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy uh, some more brands, some actual Japanese raw denim. See if there's any uh, difference. Thanks for watching.